The story started out with the primary protagonist named Yetu talking approximately fish as they were reciting things, acquainted to everyone. He also referred to that if one were to follow the records of biology, then fish had an surprising duplicate fee, with unique styles of species dating returned from the historical period to the present. It turned into additionally mentioned that perhaps human beings only seemed fish as meals, and everybody may want to without problems kill them due to the fact they had no energy to withstand. Yet, then you definitely shared that he had personally skilled such a terrifying moment. Let's delve into the exact tale of what passed off with Yedu. The scene shifts to the city of Wak Kwan at 5 hours p.m., within the afternoon, wherein we find the principal protagonist, Yetu, a recent graduate who had come to Wu Town to look for a process and lease a single room. Certainly, the hassle became that upon coming into society, he lacked capital, and his most effective alternative became to rent a room in the Wu district. He additionally noted that the humans residing there had dubious backgrounds and plenty of had been hesitant to interact with them. So, until he observed a real job, he may want to handiest undergo the struggling of renting a room. One night, the rain fell heavily, inflicting him to experience irritating because he had an interview tomorrow. He hoped that the rain would not affect the interview, so in spite of the rain, he managed to nod off. Inside the morning, Whilst he turned into sound asleep, he felt a atypical sensation of water on his leg, which harassed him, prompting him to wake up. The instant he opened his eyes, he turned into shocked to peer that his room turned into packed with water. It turned into a flood, yet too puzzled whether the flood become due to the rain from the previous night. Abruptly, he noticed something in the water and changed into stunned to look fish with human faces wobbling inside the water. He puzzled how this may be possible. To his even greater wonder, the fish emerged from the water and attacked him. By hook or by crook, he dodged the attack. However, in the technique, he fell into the water himself. As he struggled, other fish within the water began biting his hand, but he managed to shake them off. Regardless of this, the massive fish continued to try to assault him. So, he fast were given out of the room and closed the door from the outside. Taken aback and bewildered, he questioned what was taking place to him in this international. However, while he regarded outdoor, he turned into stunned to look numerous useless bodies floating inside the water. It appeared as though the fish had wiped them out. Crushed by a shock, he struggled to interpret the scenario. Unexpectedly, out of nowhere, a female named Family Zio shouted at him to watch out, warning him that the one's human confronted fish might devour them. But he remained frozen in region. Sayo entreated him again to move from that place and come to higher ground for safety, yet who became so bold over that he couldn't circulate in any respect. But while he saw the fish attacking him, he ran to save himself. Even though Zia shouted at him to run, or he would be lifeless. After they reached the stairs wherein water wasn't flowing, she assured that they were secure for some time as the fish wouldn't be capable of circulate without water. Confused, Yetu requested her what those matters were, but the lady changed into surprise to peer blood popping out of his hand, indicating he changed into injured. Yetu reassured her to calm down, explaining it became only a scratch and nothing serious. He then requested once more approximately those weird fish corpses and what was occurring there. Sio answered that she wasn't certain because whilst she awakened it turned into already like that. She also stated that now not simplest have been there many deaths, but there were also many human-confronted fish within the water. She then suggested they visit the rooftop as each person was in search of refuge up there. The scene then shifted to the rooftop in which many people had been status on every house rooftop. Yetu turned into a maze to look that each person changed into there, even the people from dubious backgrounds. As Yetu moved ahead towards the railing to look at the environment, he became stunned to look that the entire metropolis was flooded. After a while, authorities' officials arrived through helicopter and introduced that Wu Town become in a crisis. They entreated absolutely everyone to be patient and look ahead to the rest team. Within the meantime, 
They counseled no longer to touch the water and to correctly near the windows at night, even as looking ahead to further commands. They reiterated the caution not to touch the water, and then the helicopter departed from the place. And Vintage Guy requested a person named Old Jang whether or not he concept the fish and the flood were related. Shang replied that he wasn't positive, but many human beings had died within the morning, and it changed into terrible. Suddenly, someone shouted and instructed them to rush up as a person wanted their help. Upon listening to this, Yetu ran closer to the railing and discovered a boy striking on a window of the pinnacle ground under the rooftop. The boy pleaded for their help to drag him up as he could not preserve on any longer. Yetu shouted to Zia to search for some ropes because the boy began to lose his grip and the fish attacked them. He begged them to shop him. By the time Zia arrived and shared that they'd rummaged through uncle and her room, but there was no rope to be found. Yetu then requested the doubtful boys in the event that they had any ropes. One of the doubtful boys spoke back through making amusing of the boy striking there, pronouncing it was such a quick distance that he ought to climb up by way of himself. Listening to this, Yetu was surprised and shouted at them, expressing disbelief that humans have been in hazard and they have been nonetheless making a laugh of it. Suddenly, the hanging boy howled an ache, causing them to rush again to see. It was a scary second for each person because the fish now had palms maintaining onto his leg and pulling him into the water. The boy shouted at them to assist as the weird monster abruptly grew hands. Old Jang then took off his shirt and requested Yetu to give his blouse as nicely. Yetu agreed, understanding they'd no different desire. Jang tied the shirts collectively, and that they poured water on it to tighten the joint. They then dropped it inside the air for the boy to keep directly to so they may pull him up. However, when he moved his hand to seize the makeshift rope, his grip loosened a piece. At that second, the fish received the higher hand and pulled him with extra strength this time. The boy lost his grip together with his legs as nicely and he fell into the water. At that second, the boy commenced howling in pain as the fish started attacking them. Seeing this, the human beings at the roof became anxious. Zia changed into terrified via the scene. Old Jang then shared his perception that there was no safety in a place where there was no water. So, Jang asked every person to quickly move return to their respective rooms and close all the home windows and doorways tightly. Each person started walking in the direction of their rooms. Seeing this, Yetu found out that his room turned into already occupied by way of the fish. Luckily for Yetu, Jang asked him no longer to fear as he knew Yetu lived one floor beneath him, so Yetu should live in his room. Jang additionally advised that Zia pass in with them too, as it'd be easier for them to attend to every different. Zia agreed with Jang's idea. Then they went downstairs to old Jang's room. In a surprising flip of activities, three folks who failed to recognize every different and extraordinary job employee woman, Shia, a retired veteran, old Jang, and the main protagonist, Yetu, a graduate needed to depend upon each other for the relaxation of the time until the rescue group arrived. Afterwards, all three got here collectively and organized the room, investigating the meals, supplies, and substances that they had. Notwithstanding the demanding situations, they somehow managed to make it through the first night time in the room. Yetu requested Zio to consume something, understanding they nevertheless needed to bear the existing situation for some days. However, Zio responded that she turned into high quality as she had simply eaten some time in the past. Yetu then remarked that no one had predicted such a disaster to occur. He cited that he changed into a ledge to pass to three interviews on that day. He also expressed his fear, bringing up that they didn't even recognize if the rescue groups could be coming or no longer. She alas answered affirmatively, bringing up that there was no network on her phone, so she was unable to inform her parents that she was secure. Jang also remarked that it turned into peculiar they hadn't seen the rescue group. But, because it was very unusual and the silence without water become eerie, they heard the bizarre voices of the fish from out of doors the door and panicked, questioning what will be outside on the door. Antique Jang then requested them to preserve silence. 
After that, Zhang tried to place his ear to the door to pay attention to the voices on the alternative aspect. Yetu asked whether it could be the one's mutated fish climbing up the steps. Zhang replied with a no, as it did not seem to be because the voices were coming from upstairs. Zhang then shared that they were on the second floor. At the 13th floor, there had been vintage Zhou and people brats. Saying this, he all of a sudden heard someone shouting to wander off. To someone listening to which, Jay got annoying and shared that it became vintage Joe's voice. Jang concept that the yellow-haired brat must ought to have been causing trouble for Joe. He then shared with Yetu and Zia that he would go up and check by means of himself. He even requested them to live internal, as he would cross and come lower back straight away after checking. Yetu even tried to forestall Zhang from going, however, it became too late. By the point he asked him to forestall, Zhang had already closed the door. Zia then asked Yetu to forget approximately it, because it became the acquaintance's dispute, so it's higher for them now not to intrude. The scene then shifted to at least one hour later, where both Zio and Yetu had been looking forward to Jung to return back. Yetu confirmed concern, thinking that it had been some time. However, nonetheless, Master Zhang hadn't come again. Zia suggested that perhaps the matter got resolved and Vintage Zhang turned into talking with Vintage Zhou. Yetu then stood up and stated that he felt there has been something incorrect, so he could go up and test. He additionally asked her to stay in, as he might come lower back later. Zia then asked him if they could pass together and see what turned into happening. Yetu tensely asked her now not to head as there was no need because what in the event that they encountered those mutated fish who ought to depart the water. Listening to this, Zio asked him not to underestimate the girls, as maybe when he changed into an hazard, who is aware of who was saving who. She then started preparing by using taking a stick and taping a ruler and knife to it to make it a weapon for safety. After preparing, she gave the stick to Yetu and asked him to hold it nicely, as even though it was simple, it shouldn't be a hassle whilst used for self-protection. Seeing this, Yetu additionally were given impressed. Then they both slowly opened the gate and went outside with a torch to peer what was taking place. However, when they got here out, there was a deep silence within the staircase. Yetu then stated the creepy silence in the staircase passageway made her scared. When she remembered that there were mutated fish under Yetu, on the other hand, asked her to comply with him and thoroughly watch her step. Slowly, they moved ahead towards the floor above, and after going a bit further, Yetu found a swish military knife on the stairs. Zia asked in confusion what he observed, to which he replied that seeing the military knife mendacity round, he got confused as he had no idea whose knife it is able to be. So he asked Shia to hold it, as they may have a use for it later. Suddenly. He got bowled over and stated that he additionally saw something at the wall. Whilst he centered on that region with a torch, they had been stunned to look that it turned into blood on the wall, but then puzzled where it came from and asked Zio if she had seen it before. Shia answered that she failed to recognize, as she turned into preoccupied with dealing with a few gadgets. She then asked if it could be the injuries of that individual at some point of the scuffle. On top as they moved ahead, they saw more blood at the floor of the steps. Seeing this, Yetu stated that he thought it turned into simply not from an injured person. Zia then took a few blood on the knife and checked out it closely. Yetu then said that he thought the situation turned into fishy. Master Zhang took a long time and didn't come again, and now there has been a blood path. He then L asked Chia to let's hurry and cross up, as he felt like something became happening and those mutated fish truly ambushed humans, so Master Jian could be in hazard. But Zio held his hand and requested him to loosen up and not get hectic, as she became staring at the scenario, and it is able to truly be exceptional from what he was thinking. She then stated that she idea the blood was sprayed at the staircase with purpose. As if there has been really someone injured, then there should be a path of blood around the environment, or even it becomes so close to their room. Yet they by no means heard a shout for assist. Abruptly, a new kind of beast appeared within the scene behind them. 
Yetu asked again that it changed into two overdue. So who would spray blood at the stairway? She answered that it may simply be that yellow brat venting, as he had carried out disgusting things earlier then. She also stated that she thinks the yellow brat boy dropped the knife there. Yetu replied that he did not care about that gangster. Maybe it is like she said. Yetu then asked her if they need to better move upstairs and look for Master Jang. As he turned into climbing greater stairs, he felt something slippery on the boundary of the steps. While he noticed with the torch, it became saliva of a person. But he thought of it as water and wondered where did it come from. Because it regarded a door it turned into from the pinnacle drilling down. Suddenly Yetu realized that there was something on the top of the stairs. When he placed the torch in the direction of it, they had been stunned to peer that it turned into a more mutated version of fish with legs and four hands. Yetu tensed up as the mutated fish left the water and got here on to land. However, still, the fish failed to attack them, which pressured everybody. It became extraordinary that the fish confirmed no aggression toward them in any respect. To analyze, he used his stick to transport the fish away. The instant the stick touched the mutated fish's whisker, it sprang into motion and lunged toward them. They had been worried via the sudden assault, but still used the stick to shield themselves. To their marvel, the fish used its fingers to walk on land. It even wielded the stick as a weapon, putting back with sudden force. Yetu changed into nearly knocked to the floor by using the strength of the assault. However, Zayo managed to grab his hand just in time, stopping him from falling. After being saved, he lay on the stairs. But soon, the fish got dangerously near, beginning its mouth as though to consume him. Before it could strike, Shia attacked the fish with the stick, sending it flying via the air with the force of the blow. Tensely, Shia requested Yetu if he was okay or if he were hurt. Yetu replied affirmatively and jokingly remarked that the one who saved whom was combined up. Taking the stick from her, Yetu went to attack the fish. However, in no time, the fish darted away from its spot and began to run. As the fish dodged his attack, Yetu ignored and began shouting at it to wait and not disguise. Ignoring the warning, he started to chase after the fish. But Zia urged him to forestall, cautioning that they did not recognize if more mutated fish have been on the way. Yetu urged Shia to hurry and suggested they cross upstairs to find Master Jang, sensing something would possibly have come about to him. They dashed in the direction of the 033 ground, and as they entered, they have been greatly surprised to see a larger and greater menacing mutated fish looking forward to them. This time it was like encountering a horse or elephant-sized fish with long tail legs and arms. Behind it, they noticed a person. Confused, Shia asked who was at the floor. Yeti replied that it need to be the yellow-haired brat she noted in advance. But it became out to be Master Jang, who turned into slowly drawing near the mutated fish from behind. With a speedy move, Jang grabbed the fish and started stabbing it with a knife. He then shouted at Yetu to capture the possibility and evacuate Antique Joe from the room. Tensely, Yetu inquired approximately Master Jang's well-being. Jang focused at the urgency of the scenario, informed them to head and assist Antique Joe first, as his leg were bitten off. Agreeing, they rushed into the room to locate Antique Joe sitting internal. Joe reassured them no longer to shout, spotting them as the associates who lived one ground underneath. Yetu and Zia had been stunned to peer antique Joe's leg bitten smooth in half of with the aid of the fish. Yetu asked in confusion what had happened to his leg and how the mutated fish had entered the room. Joe defined that the intelligence of these mutated fish was terrifying. They climbed up the use of the close by electric poles Yetu found that the mutated fish appeared different from the first day they encountered them, noting that the fish did not have eyes. Joe agreed, including that he had also noticed that the mutated fish did not rely on their sight to navigate their environment. He similarly defined that he and Antique Jang after narrowly averting risk have been hiding without daring to make a sound. However, their ascent had prompted a clatter which distracted the eye of the mutated fish. Shia shared that Antique Jang were long past for a long term, 
causing them to worry, so that they went up to discover him. Yetu delivered that they found the stair passage protected with blood on the walls. Listening to this, Antique Joe shared that it was possibly done by the fish, while the sky became dark. He found a few species conducting similar behavior, and puzzled in the event that they have been marking their territories in that way. Yetu, feeling demanding, exclaimed in shock territory making certainly. Antique Joe replied that he wasn't positive about the fish's intentions. He counseled they go away the region for now and talk it later. As they exited, Jang got here flying closer to them, prompting them to halt. Jen shared that notwithstanding no longer understanding wherein the mutated fish came from, they still seemed cause on attacking and ingesting them. The mutated fish roared and lunged closer to Jang yet again. However, Jang fought again the usage of a damaged table as a makeshift weapon. However, the mutated fish proved to be highly effective, and Jang struggled to maintain his personal against it. Antique Joe instructed Shia and Yetu to attend at the same time as he distracted the mutated fish. He urged them to attention on taking Antique Jang with them, emphasizing that they failed to need to hazard their lives to shop an antique, crippled guy like himself. Yetu responded to Joe, urging him now not to give up, as they would not abandon him. Moreover, she mentioned that simply locking the mutated fish away wouldn't offer them with a sense of safety. As Yetu searched his blouse for something to apply as a weapon, he observed nothing beneficial in any respect. He additionally observed that the preceding knife they'd changed into nevertheless lodged in the head of the mutated fish. Even though there have been bottles round, Yetu notioned they were not beneficial, as smashing one would render it vain after just one hit against the mutated fish. For help, Shia observed something and asked him to take a glance. It was the wood used to tie the knife with sharp edges that would paintings as a weapon. She counseled that while it may not pierce through the pores and skin, it could be powerful attacking through the mouth and piercing via the fish's brain. Yetu liked the idea, so he took the wood stick and requested Zio to take care of Antique Joe. In the meantime, Jang continued to struggle the mutated fish, but he started to falter in the face of the fish's overwhelming electricity. As Zhang found himself defenseless, the fish attempted to attack him, but fortunately, Yetu arrived simply in time, thrusting the stick into the mouth of the mutated fish. However, the fish hung on to the stick tightly. Now, each Jang and Yu labored collectively, pushing with all their might to power the stick further inner. 